CREA is a research center in economics and management. Our aim is to reach the level of excellence which is required at the international level. By doing so, we share the university's objective of becoming an internationally recognized research university. Our advantage lies in a young, dynamic and international team with an excellent publication record. We have succeeded attracting a lot of excellent junior researchers and we will be further developing our research activities through the doctoral school in economics and finance. Since 2003, CREA has expanded the number of academics working uh, in this research centre. So it is a highly international team with 10 different nationalities. Our research priorities are based on a double specialisation in economics and management and on our location in a small open economy. We put great emphasis on issues like regional development, corporate governance and entrepreneurship, and basically on all issues related to strategic partnership and innovation, and also on global, national and supranational policies that might affect economic growth. All these topics are not specific to Luxembourg, but they are of high importance for the Luxembourgish economy. As a result, we intend to specialize in these fields, including empirical evaluation of these aspects. It's a really a great place to be because the university invests really a lot of funds into research. We have a doctoral school in economics and finance here, and this offers really very interesting and, and stimulating courses. One more thing that, uh, that I find uh, is very important is that we get the chance to teach at undergraduate as well as uh, at uh, postgraduate level. And this is really a, an indispensable experience. In one way or the other, research in economics at CREA is concerned with the question why some countries are rich or why some people are rich and others are poor. For the poor countries, that begs the questions about the right policies, how to catch up with the rich. Research at CREA has emphasized the beneficial role of educational policies, of technology adoption, or of institutional change. For the rich countries, the question is slightly different, namely what policies help us maintain the current level of prosperity. Here, for instance, research at CREA has emphasized the beneficial role of agglomerations that matter, for instance, for the financial center of Luxembourg, or the beneficial role of migration that also helps Luxembourg to remain prosperous. At a somewhat deeper level, there is the question of sustainable economic development that, for instance, matters in the face of environmental degradation. But it also matters uh, in the face of population aging when it comes to asking about the necessary adjustments in the pension system. Now, here in Luxembourg, we live in the center of Europe. Research about the sovereign debt crisis or the future prospects of economic growth in Europe are at the center of what we do here. So the business and management, education and research is a very important part of the university's activities and also I'm pleased to say it's an expanding part of our activities. So going specifically into, we have three domains that we focus on within the, the management research group. The three domains are innovation, entrepreneurship and corporate governance. Organisations manage their innovation in different ways. There isn't one set recipe for how organisations manage innovation. So we look at the what, how they do it, how and why they do it at, at particular points in time. So organisations might innovate then by using, for example, uh, organisational networks. Turning next then to entrepreneurship, um, entrepreneurship as well, like innovation, has different expressions more commonly, we might think about entrepreneurship as being associated with new startups, business startups, and with uh, entrepreneurial people or maybe would be entrepreneurs identifying an opportunity that they have and then they want to create a business. But we're also interested within, within our research domain in looking at different facets and different expressions of entrepreneurship, maybe linked to age, maybe linked to gender may be linked to ethnicity. The third domain of our research is corporate governance. 
and corporate governance, as the name suggests, is concerned with um, the, how companies are controlled, how they're directed, and the structures that they put in place to be so that they can ensure that their activities and their operations, their auditing and their financial reporting is made transparent, that, um, that we can have confidence in, in those operations and activities. So these three domains are important research areas for the University of Luxembourg. We're expanding these areas with the support of the Chamber of Commerce. Well, for me, to be in Luxembourg is really good because the environment itself is already really stimulating because I can uh, have access to a lot of different conferences and seminars, both at the Luxembourgish uh, institution level as well as European institution level. I can uh, enter, well, and attend seminars made by other research centers as well as private bankings that for me is really interesting. And in case what I'm interested in is too specific and I, and I need to travel, we are still at, at, in the heart of Europe, that means I can join easily, I can reach easily all other universities in the surroundings. Over the 2008-2013 period, CREA members have published 52 papers in journals belonging to the top 35 journals from the Tilburg ranking. As a result, in 2014, in spite of its young age, CREA moved to the top 20% of the research institutions at the world level. CREA members are involved in different teaching programs. We are involved in the Bachelor in Economics, Bachelor in Management, the Master in Economics and Finance, the Master in Entrepreneurship and Innovation, the Master in Accounting and Audit, and last but not least, the Doctoral School in Economics and Finance. Luxembourg is open on Europe and on the rest of the world. So we have naturally the international exposure to reach the level of excellence that we want to target. So people who are interested are welcome to come to Luxembourg and they will find the appropriate environment for high quality research at the frontier of the current knowledge in these fields.